Hello everyone, it's going to be a short video on how to connect the Verizon Jetpack hotspot. This particular model is the MHS700L, but I'm pretty sure that the setup is the same for any Jetpack model provided by Verizon. And before I start, I want to point out that this is just to provide essential needs for internet. It is not going to be the fastest thing in the world, but it gets the job done. So let's get started. So first I wanna show the wrong way to do this. And basically the wrong way to do this is if you insert your SIM card before you power the device on, that is the wrong way to do it. And I'm gonna show you. So my SIM card is inside already. Um, let's turn it on. Just gonna be patient, we're gonna wait. This takes a while to load. Gonna go to instructions for setup. So setting up info, connect, visit this website. And then it's gonna keep looping through this same options. And then eventually it's gonna say please wait. And it will stay there for hours and not set up correctly if this is done wrong. So there it is. It will stay there and not move forward so let's turn it back off so we could do it the correct way now it says goodbye you can let go of the power button it will power off so now that it's powered off you can see it's nothing on the screen we're gonna take our sim card out so we're gonna move this the slot cover we're gonna push the sim card in and it should pop out just like that. So we're gonna take it out. And when you take a SIM card out or a memory uh, card, whatever it is, any kind of chip, just be aware of how it came out because you're gonna have to put it in the same way back in. So we're gonna put that down. Now we're gonna hold our power button. Now we can let go. Once it's on, and we're gonna wait until it's loaded. What we're looking for is a screen that says no SIM, insert SIM. Then after we get that um, option on the screen, then we can proceed and put in our SIM card. So this is um, saying which website you have to go for the setup. You just gotta wait. You can click it if you like. You want to really do anything. There we go. Now it's loading. But there's no SIM card, so this it's not gonna load. It's just gonna ask you to put in your SIM card, which is what we want. So there you have it. That little icon means that the SIM card's not in. It says no SIM found, insert SIM. And now we're gonna insert our SIM card, so when we took it out, the slash part was towards the right. So that's the same way we're going to put it back in. So we're going to put it in. Just push it in. Until you hear it snap into place. Ah, it's difficult.
I hope you guys do this faster than me. There it is. Now we're gonna put our slot cover back. Make sure it's nice and tight. Because if any dust or anything gets in there, this could get damaged. And now it says no service available. Click it. And click it again. Then you have your Wi-Fi name. The service just kicked in. That's why the screen reset. So now it says Verizon 4G LTE. We click it one, two. We get our Wi-Fi name. And then if we click it again, we get our password. So this is our main menu. Click it once, you get your data usage. Um, it says data usage is not available at this time. This probably just means that either your service is not connected or sometimes if it's unlimited, it will show this message because there's no number it can display as to how much data you have left. Oh, there it goes. So we're gonna go back to the main menu so I can show you guys again. So if you click it twice, get your Wi-Fi name. And this is how you're gonna find your device, your jetpack on your device. And then if we click it again, after we found the jetpack, this is the password you're gonna use to log into your jetpack and get connected to the internet. I hope this video was helpful. And I hope it helps you out. I hope you get connected. Thanks for watching.